from LuLaRoe, Catherine Grace. Just wanted to take a minute to talk to you today about uh, choosing a mannequin over taking pictures on a hanger. Um, I knew when I got in the queue that I wanted to have a mannequin right away. Everybody uses a the mannequin. They're so pretty. Everybody wants to name them. And so I ordered one pretty quickly. I got a pretty good deal on eBay for about 35 bucks. And I haven't named her yet, but it's pretty nice. It's like a velvety, soft texture. And as soon as she got home and I put her together, I couldn't believe she was actually taller than me. Uh, it's not really that hard to do, but it is what it is. So I got her dressed and I tried on a couple outfits with her just to see um, how it would be photographing. And I quickly realized that this was not going to be realistic. Um, it was gonna take a lot of time to photograph all of my inventory, especially if I knew I wanted to grow my inventory and have to photograph and keep switching these clothes off this mannequin. Even if you have a plastic mannequin, which my sponsor has a plastic mannequin that she uses for some of her um, photography, it, it will go quicker, but it's still very, very time consuming to get clothes on and off a mannequin. So I just wanted to go over that a little bit and kind of show you um, quickly just how hard it is to get clothes on and off the mannequin and also show you how great styles look on a hanger um, versus on the mannequin and you can still sell them just as well being on a hanger and not on a mannequin. First up we have a Cassie skirt here and this is an extra small Cassie so it's going to be pretty tight even on this petite mannequin. You can see you kind of have to stretch it pretty far. Get everything looking good. You know, you're going to have to get that set good. And I picked the velvet one because I thought that it would look nice and I wouldn't have to worry about having a shirt on top of it. Um, a lot of people are worried about their mannequins looking naked. So I thought this would be perfect and that's when I realized that it was only going to be even more detrimental to my pictures um, being that it takes so long to get things on and off. So then taking the Cassie back off the mannequin is even harder. can see how long this takes and then just imagine doing this to hundreds of pieces of clothing obviously you're not gonna have to photograph every single piece of clothes that you have but still if you're can, planning on growing your inventory it can be very time-consuming this is an extra small classic tee Still pretty snug on the mannequin and especially with that velvet fabric does not want to move that well it looks very nice once it's on and that's why I don't want to get rid of my mannequin because it will look nice in my Lula room and um, I can use it for advertising purposes on my Facebook page, but for photographing all of my inventory, I just don't think it's the right way to go. Basically, if you have a good backdrop and you have a decent looking hanger, you can take your pictures much quicker and still get high quality images without the use of the mannequin and they're going to sell just as well. It's not the mannequin that's selling the clothes, it's the clothing that's selling the clothes. If you have any questions, just find me on Facebook, LuLaRoe Catherine Grace, and more information is in the comments below. Thanks, bye.